Accepting defeat to this lightweight drug we call cannabis can be humiliating. It's kind of like the hare losing the race to the tortoise. It's shameful. It's like peeing your bed at your first sleepover. It just shouldn't happen. Why am I addicted to weed? This is pathetic. I'm a joke. What's wrong with me? Those are some things you may say. Other things you might say are, wow, one day I'll be able to use it like all those normal people. One day I'll be different. Chances are, if you're saying that to yourself, you're, you are already in the grips of the addiction. You are ensnared in the insidious grip of marijuana. You are living in denial. Don't even notice I am lying. I feel for you. I have been there. It's torture. It's horrible. Yeah, it just fucking sucks. So hopefully, if you're on this journey, if you're watching this video, you care or you are aware of the fact that something in your life needs to change and that cannabis is probably that thing. It's so hard to overtly see why weed is such a problem for us. It's not like we're drunk and driving and crashing cars. We're not beating people up. We're not getting arrested for being an asshole in public, all these other things. So it's so easy to just point at all those other worse addicts and say, oh, I'm not like that. I'm okay. I don't have a problem, which compounds that sense of shame and patheticness that I have somehow succumbed to the trap of marijuana. And why am I so pathetic, not deserving of the, like other addicts are deserving of help, but me? No, it's just weed. I'm such a loser that I should be able to figure this out on my own. If we take the, uh, the sort of definition of addiction that I like most from Dr. Gabor Mate, it's generally goes like this. We have an internal pain, trauma, discomfort, fear, worry, whatever it is. We don't know how to deal with that. So then we reach for substances or behavioral addictions like sex or pornography or eating. That brings us temporary relief from that pain, but it obviously doesn't last. So once that goes away, we're back with the pain, back with the trauma, and we continue with that behavior. And irregardless, of the negative consequences of our actions, we can't stop on our own. If that is at all your case, chances are you are in the grips of a weed addiction. And although that sucks to be in any situation like that, at the same time, it's okay. There is an answer, there is a solution. And hopefully, if you've watched any of my other videos about weed, you got some insight there. I'm going to keep building. It's been five years since I've made videos on weed because I went back to school, became a psychotherapist, and now I try to help people in every possible way I can as a therapist, as someone who is in recovery or is in long-term recovery from addiction. Anything I can do to help, I will do that. If you've made it this far, you're open to the idea of smashing this illusion that you can control your using or that being a weed addict is not a big deal. We really have to pick this apart and see it for the bullshit that it is. A lot of people, again, hold on to this idea of maybe one day I can smoke a joint like a normal person. But that is your illness lying to you, trying to keep you sick trying to keep you in the grips of addiction. So if we can smash the denial, if we can accept the fact that we have a problem and we cannot control it, we may be able to squeeze a tiny little bit of self-compassion out of that, maybe a tiny bit of forgiveness towards ourselves. And then the next step is that you have to ask for help. You cannot do this alone. Human beings are tribal, communal animals. We need each other. Johan Hari says the opposite of addiction is connection. Now that in some sense is true, 
it's not an encompassing definition, but it's a good one. And it's a good reminder here that you can't do this alone. You need help and you need to ask for help. There's lots of places to go, 12-step groups, there's treatment centers, there's therapists, there could be trusted friends, family members, whoever it is, you can't do it alone, you need to ask for help. If you wanna send me a message, write in the comments here. If you think we can be helpful or I can be helpful, please get in touch with us and let us know, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. You are not alone. It's okay to be in the grips of the insidious cannabis addiction. There is a solution, there is a way out. I wish that you, or I hope that you search that out. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to this video, share it. I would greatly appreciate that. Otherwise, may the force be with you. Peace out.